Hi Scarpio, welcome back to your channel. This is going to be an overall read for you guys, okay? It's going to be a quick one. It's not going to be a long read right now, you guys, because I'm in the middle of cooking, actually. But I wanted to make sure that I give you guys a read, all right? I know I haven't done any reads all day today, so this one is going to be an overall one. I hope you guys are having all your Thanksgiving things together. Um cooking and all that other good stuff and sharing good times with all your friends and family and just enjoying and having a blessed wonderful thanksgiving okay i'm still i'm in the middle of cooking you guys but i wanted to take a break to give you this read this quick one but any hills you know you're a diamond please continue to shine bright like a diamond all right let's get into a quick prayer you guys especially thanksgiving oh my goodness we just have to give him praise and thanks for everything that he has done for us all right and that he'll just provide for everyone that really doesn't have a family structure right now or you know having a difficult time even buying a meal or preparing a meal so let's give him thanks and praise all right for the little things heavenly father as i come before you ask for your blessings again for my for, for myself and for my secrets heavenly father peace and your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so, Scarpia, just know that, again, this reading is a, not a personal one. It's a general one. So, with that being said, it may resonate. And then, again, for some of you, it may not. Please take what does resonate with you at this moment and leave the absolute rest. All right, the roles could be reversed. Take it how it suits your past, present, or future. Um, your situation or your person is the person who first came to thought or the situation that first came to thought, okay? Now, the roles, again, could be reversed in your life or whatever you're going through right now. Don't force your reads, you guys. It's not meant for you to force. You could always come back, Scarpia, because I do upload for you guys very often here. Um, if you do need to have a personal reading with me, Feel free to connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys. And that will be down in the description of today's video, okay? Alrighty, let's see what Angels wants you to know right now. Alright, Angel, let's get to work, please. What's the message for Scorpio at this time? What's the message for Scorpio at this time? the message for Scorpio at this time. Tap it into the energy of Scorpio, please. What's the message? What's the message? Hey Scorpio, we have the six of, I'm sorry, we have the five of cups. The five of cups and the ace of pentacles. So I do feel like, for some of you, I feel like something is either really has taken a toll here. Um, as far as how you're feeling right now, okay. Um, as far as what you might have thought or what you might have found out or what you might have learned from a situation um i do feel like whatever it is that's having you feel like you're either feeling lost or you're either having regrets or you're either feeling disappointed or feeling very ashamed or very embarrassed or just being humiliated by whatever it is that you might have been affected by I feel like those things are changing for you. Things are changing um, to bring peace into your life because you're really needing to find peace right now based on past pain, right? With the Five of Cups being here. Um, what I do see coming in towards you, um, Scorpio, is healing, okay? Um, healing is showing up in the form of the Ace of Pentacles here. Um, the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups in the back of the deck. Um, I do feel like 
change is coming. I'm hearing a new beginnings. I'm hearing this could be a fresh start for some of you guys. Um, this could either be you moving into another chapter of your life or walking away from disappointments. Um, I do feel like money in abundance is coming in. For some of you, you might have been dealing with financial hardship. You might have been dealing with situations that you felt like you might have lost control um, about. Um, this could be not just relationships, but also it could resonate with family and friends um, that you might have had a hard time kind of connecting dots with. But those things are changing. Things are finally starting to brighten up for you. Um, I'm seeing you wiping these tears. I'm seeing you wiping tears of disappointment and um, anxiety for some of you. Um, and I'm seeing hope that is coming in. What's really coming in in abundance here is this Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, right? Um, I really feel like with the, the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, I'm sorry, what am I talking about? Um, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups being here, okay? So, because you're really moving in towards a new chapter in your life, something fresh, <clears throat> you need a fresh start. Um, I feel like what is coming is going to be something massive, a massive change. Um, this change is needed. I feel like you really cry this change into existence. For some of you, you may have been calling upon your ancestors more than you um, ever did based on what you've been dealing with, feeling very isolated. For some of you, feeling very alone here. Um, whatever is coming towards you in abundance, this could be just a change in your environment. It could be a job situation where you're either getting a raise or you're just moving up to a bigger kind of a position. It could be something that you've been putting in a lot of work um, and effort. And finally, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing someone coming in towards you to offer you something great. Okay. Um, what is the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups here? Okay, so we have the sun, um, the sun in the upright, we have the font in the reverse, and the eight, and, and the ace of wands here. So not only do I see some kind of an opportunity that is coming in, but I really feel like whatever is coming in as new, you have to be sure that you're staying on your A game, okay? Um, you're going to have to use your intuition really carefully this time around for some of you might have missed an opportunity already we might have stalled on the opportunity yeah the ace the four of cups in the reverse yeah someone might have stalled and um, i feel like mm, um this stall that i'm hearing is really coming through with the four of cups in the reverse the devil in the reverse and the nine of one so you're you're letting these things go um whatever might have tried to kind of slow you down or slow down your journey especially with when it comes on to your person and yourself this could have been a soulmate person here um that's kind of just not making some kind of a decision solid or making something uh, making you feel uncomforted okay i feel like you either feel like this person wasn't there for you when you needed them the most um, you may have felt this person might have dragged you through a third part the situation here that made you feel very lost. But I feel like justice is going to be served either way. Um, I'm hearing a cleansing of some sort that is happening. For some of you are on this spiritual cleanse here. Yes, you're not only using your intuition with this cleanse, but you're also using your intelligence, your wisdom, your smart, what you've been through, what you've learned from the situation here. Um, you're blocking anything that is not um, giving you any energy at all as far as high divine um, interaction or high divine intervention or high divine power or high divine force or high divine wisdom or whatever it is that you're searching for right now. Um, you're making the move. Um, I feel like you're blocking 
uh, 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 the uh, negative visions here for some of you might have been really trapped into a negative vision for some time because of what you've been dealing with with this five of cups this is in the reverse the ace of cups in the reverse so you're not getting any more source from this this doesn't need to be a part of the new transition why am i feeling like there's something that you're going to have to let go of where your journey is taking you this time around is something that you cannot take any of the past pain with you. Those past pains is going to have to be one of the past. It's going to be something that you're going to set free. It has to be set free with the nine, with the knight of wands also being here because that situation didn't serve you any good at all. We have this, this not only do we have the nine of wands, but we have this, the, um, the knight, uh, the swords. Okay, we have the swords here. We have the, the knight of swords. And the Knight of Wands. Mm. Energy block. Because someone doesn't make a decision here and still have not. Someone is either feeling stuck here or dealing with some kind of an ego here. Um, and this is why, we, again, we have the Ace of Cups. There's so many reverse here, you guys. But one thing for sure and a million things for certain, we have the Moon here. So what this really tells me is that you was been un kept in the loop. You was been kept in the dark, okay? There's something that you should have known about where you didn't know. Something was hiding. Something was not... Or let's just say your situation did not want you to know a certain situation, okay? So this was been kept in private. Um, but why do I feel like, for some of you, we have the Page of Cups here, okay? The Moon, the Page of Cups, and the Star. So, I'm hearing a major arcana here, okay? So, I'm hearing a child. This could be a child. Or maybe someone maybe a lost a child or something. But something is given back to you in abundance. Something was not meant to be at a certain particular time because it was too much things going on, too much secrets been kept in the dark, too much lies, too much betrayal, and justice had to be served here. Okay, something was about to be exposed and it needed to be. I'm hearing separation. I'm hearing something that you might have couldn't put the pieces together. I'm hearing this could be court um, related. It could be divorce or permanent separation or whatever is going on. Major arcana here, okay? Uh, but something was needed to be set free. The seven of pentacles here. Yeah, something needed to be set free so you could be able to move forward and build something, rebuild something, restock your life here. Changes, the love is kind of, something was very toxic for you. Um, someone's having a hard time choosing. There was a choice that needed to be made and someone was moving very slowly with the chariot here, okay? The wheel of fortune, the chariot, something is changing here. I'm hearing that you need to wear your crown because there's a, a movement or you just need to keep moving forward for this change. Wearing your crown and fighting for what you want which is your wisdom and your peace. The page of wands the tower so another uh, major arcana where something might have fell short or something fell apart um where you might have been holding on to something because of the moon coming back up again okay this is a second confirmation so this is why things kind of fell apart because of a secret something was being kept not only am i hearing a third party situation okay but I'm hearing that there was something other than that. There's something that kind of kind of shook your world here with the five of cups in here. Wow. Clarify this, please. The Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. These are all in the reverse. Please clarify this for me, angels. For Scarpio, please. Because somebody's juggling something here. And, and, and I do feel like whatever has been juggled, someone is feeling real comfortable doing all of that. Someone is extremely comfortable. Five of Pentacles. Okay. I'm sure didn't bring you no peace though. The Five of Pentacles and the Emperor. Okay, so this Emperor is coming through as, you know, um, really one to set a, set the record straight here. 
Maybe this is someone that you're about to meet if you have not met this emperor already. You're going to. But I've seen you walking over your healing or something. You're walking over your healing from, from devastation or not only are you walking away from devastation, but you're blocking a, a King of Pentacles energy. That is in the reverse. Because you feel like this person is bringing you too much pain with this a Ten of Swords also being in the reverse. So you're healing from this and you're moving into an Emperor energy. This could be something new. This could be new love. Because of what you might have lost, you're deserving of new love. With this emperor here. Tell me more. Emperor energy. Please clarify this emperor here. Please clarify this emperor. Please clarify this emperor. Okay. So this emperor wants to give you um, some kind of a abundance here. The ten of cups. This emperor sees you as the one. Okay, the ten, of, the ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups. Ooh, Major, Major Kana, honey. Okay, we got, I gotta show you all of this. This is your Emperor energy. Okay, so this person, this Emperor, not only is this person hot and sexy and sweet, and good at making love and everything that comes with being an empress. They have their life in order. They fill with nothing but abundance at this moment. They're going through some kind of a high divine power. And I feel like they're ready to share this with you, okay? Um, this person sees you as the one. They see you as a ten of cups. They see you as a seven of cups. They see you as a three of cups. Now, this person wants to either build something or start something with you or invest um, their heart and their love in you. They see you as special. They see you as sweet and calm. They see you as um, husband or wife material. They see you as king and queen. They see you as stability and balance. This is what I'm seeing here. They want to have um, build a happy ending with you. Um, they're ready to invest. Um, they, they have many options because this emperor is powerful. This emperor is smart. Um, but they want to help to guide you, to guide you into something that is stable for you. They want to help to build you up. This is all cups. Oh my goodness. The Ten of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups. You're being celebrated. This could be an engagement. This person may even want to marry you. Okay, If you're not married to this person already, this person is thinking to themselves, Shoot, I should, I should just go ahead and just do what I need to do right here. This person sees you as the one, the potential one here. They're very high and in, in, in settling and, and being one person, okay? They're feeling the hell out of you, yeah. The four of the four pentacles. Yeah, they want to hold on to you. They want to make sure that they put you on lockdown. Love's lockdown, that is. Um, the four pentacles, the wheel of fortune, also here. Okay, so they feel like you bring a lot of love to a situation or love or light or whatever. They're ready to fight for your relationship. They're ready to fight for your heart. All right, this person's kind of watching you, though. There's someone who's watching you. If this, if this emperor is not watching you, then you have someone who brought you great, great pain that is watching you, okay? Their energy is in low vibration at this present moment. That person is either dealing with money issues or they're dealing with something that is negative um, but I do see like they're coming back. They want to come back. Someone wants to come back to your life to offer some kind of a reconciliation here. But you're not planning on taking that reconciliation offer back. Um, I feel like, you know, you're ready to invest elsewhere. This is what I'm hearing. Um, the, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, there's no manifestation that is coming in right now with this situation. Okay, with your past situation. Okay, please clarify, please. Let me get another deck, you guys. And clean this read up, okay? Again, you guys, take what's yours. Leave the rest. It will not resonate to every single one of you. Don't force your read. It's not meant to be forced. Alrighty. Alright. Just please clarify these messages thus far, please. For Scarpia and all those that are involved in the energy, please. I just have the urge. 
courage to pull this deck. I'm going to pull a couple of messages out of the other side. I urge to do that. Maybe two or three. Not too much. All right. What's the message? All right, so we definitely have the lover's card here, okay? What is the lover's card, please? All right, so the lover's card is the nine of pentacles. What is the lover's card and the nine of pentacles? The seven of wands in the reverse. All right, so I really do see a third party situation coming in that is not very toxic at this moment. Um, this person might have, or somebody here just kind of took a leap of something that was very bad, very bad intentions, very bad will, didn't make anything positive. Um, but for some of you guys, I really feel like, you know, even though you might have invested already into this person, what I do see coming in is absolutely nothing already, okay? Um, I'm seeing you wiping your tears, I've seen you drying your heart, healing. This is all I'm seeing that's coming in. We have the seven of ones in the reverse. So there's someone that is still fighting for, for peace, for happiness. If this is not you, then this is them. Okay? But there's definitely a third party here. Um, there's definitely someone that wants to make things set for them and not for you. Oh, well, whoever the hell that is. Gotta be the third party, right? Third party energy. Let's see what your person has to say here. Tapping into the energy of your person. I'm clarifying some things here. Okay. What this Scorpio person has to say moving forward. Clarity, please. Let me have some clarity, please. What do I need to share with Scorpio? What your person needs to say right now. Now, your person is saying that you are so different from everyone around me. You are so different from everyone around me. All right, tell me more. What this Scorpio person wants to say. This love is crazy. I wish to be like you. So this person really sees you as a person that will make anyone happy. Okay? They know that you're special. They know that you're unique. They know that you bring love and light to a relationship. They know that your energy is one that is rare. But yet they still play mind games. I feel like this person is still longing for you. Even though they act stupid and crazy and not giving what you're needing here. I feel like they're longing for you. For you. This person misses you but don't know how to say it because of they have their pride. Yeah, emotions overwhelming. Filled with nothing but pride here. What does Scorpio person wants to say but can't? What is it that they want Scorpio to know? Want to say but can't? You've triggered me. And it's all too much. Will this pain ever stop? What is the truth? Because I'm scared of rejection. Not only I'm scared of rejection, but I am blocked. I'm blocked from coming towards you right now. For some of you, you might have blocked this person mentally. For some of you, you could have blocked this person financially. Who knows? Maybe the angels block them so that you will find a way to heal and dry your tears. A lot of tears. Okay, Scorpio. Let me get some more cards here. Then we'll close this reading out. This deck is very old, but I love it. <laughs> very old you guys I probably have this deck ever since I first started doing um, the tarot here on YouTube this was one of the decks that I purchased when I first started here on YouTube and I still got it I think I heard something 
It's about 2, 2 30 a.m. in the morning, you guys. All right, let's pull three cards here. All right, so we have the devil in the reverse, we have the Hierophant here, and then we have the Hermit. Look at that, the Hierophant and the Hermit together is a combination with the devil in the reverse. All right, so, you know, whatever's going on with your situation here, with the devil been here, this person has not learned your lesson, okay? They have not learned your lesson. They're very stuck, they're very hard to deal with. They don't see things clearly as you do, okay? Um, I feel like also, because Hierophant's energy um, is power, it, 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 it is glory, it is spiritual, it is discerning, it's universe. It's when you get to a chapter in your life where you know you just can't fight a battle anymore alone and you really start to tap into situation, this is where the situation comes in, where it tells you you need to trust your intuition and just moving forward into getting the clarity and answers that you need at this point because the answers that you're seeking will bring you a lot of light. Um, as to exactly what you do need to move forward. You're searching for the answers, but the answers that you really need is, is right there, okay? It's right there, you guys. So just reach out and touch and pray and still continue to ask the angels to guide you, okay? That is going to be your reading for tonight um, until in the morning. It is morning already. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up my cooking. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you to the moon and stars. Pray for me as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.